Okay, part two of this bullshit, whatever it is. Um, gonna be honest, this sounds like a cult. Like, whatever she is promoting, it sounds like a cult to me. I'm not even going to lie. This sounds like it could very well turn into a cult. Our DNAs are being activated. Because they are going to have to develop some new strands, maybe not develop, but those, I mean, I guess they're as good as dormant or as good as dead now. Yeah, those strands are going to have to be active. My brother in Christ, you are not getting new DNA strands activated by the sun. I think you may just have skin cancer. So, while well, again, she's not 100% wrong, but she's not right in the way that she intended. Like, yes, you're, okay, so you're not developing new DNA strands, but changes in the genetic code is happening all the time. Like, mutations happen all the time, which result in new genes. So, yeah, your DNA is changing all the time, um, and, like, as you pass on your genes to your children, they will be different, and so technically, yes, new DNA is being developed, but not entirely new strands of DNA. And again, she's not 100% wrong, genes can be activated and deactivated by um, processes in the body depending on if the proteins that they code for are needed at that time or not. If the protein is not needed, the gene is deactivated or suppressed until the protein is needed again when it is activated. But that is not happening because of some solar alien beings turning our DNA on. That is happening by our own body regulations. So no, we are not being prepared for some great... I don't even know what she's trying to say. Some great purpose, gr our next step in evolution by the solar species and by the sun. It's... It, that's, that's not happening. We're going from a two-strand DNA structure to a 12-strand DNA structure. That is so hysterically wrong because were we... That, it just wouldn't work. It, a 12-strand DNA structure would break everything. It would break biology, it would break chemistry, it would break physics. It's just very, very impossible to have a 12-stranded DNA structure. So this is your DNA. Um, the double helix that codes for everything. The strands of the double helix are made up from base pairs. T bonds to A and C bonds to G. Now, the TA bond is a has two like connection point bonds, and the CG has three. This happens because like the molecules and atoms that it is made up, that is how they bond together. Now, in order to have a like even a three-stranded DNA, like which is more plausible, it would ha you would have to change the entire chemical makeup of your DNA. You would have to have entirely new atoms and molecules making up the DNA that are capable of making more than two or three bonds to each other. Now, I'm not saying that like triple helixes are impossible. Like there are substances that are made of a triple helix structure. I think it might be collagen that's one of them, but it has a dif different chemical makeup than DNA does and it has atoms in it, like forming the bonds together, that are capable of forming the triple helix. DNA is not because of these base pairs, they bond together specifically. If you added another strand, there would be nowhere for it to bond without breaking other bonds and causing mutation and like breaking your DNA. In order to um, like make even a triple helix, you would have to have entirely new base pairs with entirely different atomic makeup of it in order to do all of the bonds, put all the bonds where it needs to be. And then at that point, it wouldn't even be DNA anymore. There's a reason that everything has the same four base pairs, because that is, as far as we know, the only thing that works. It is so highly conserved in literally every living organism, even in viruses. Viruses don't even have different base pairs because it is not possible as far as we know. Like, yes, there's like a different, like, like RNA has U and said whatever, but they're, they're that, whatever, but this basic, it's essentially the same structure. Like, even RNA is a single helix. 
even though it has a different base pair, it is still the same structure essentially, because it's like not making bind or whatever, we're not talking about RNA. But even like stereochemically, um, spatially, it wouldn't work because that is too many strands. Let me get out my owl full of gel pens to show you. So we have our RNA, single strand, whatever, that's fine. Got our DNA, double strand, whatever, that's fine. Now we're at four strands, which is getting a little busy. Eight strands, that is a lot. This is 12 strands. That is way, way, way too complicated. That would be essentially impossible to replicate and way prone to damage and way, way prone to mutations, which would cause all sorts of problems. That's just not possible. And look at that mess. You can't, you can barely tell individual strands anymore because there's so much shit going on. There's no room for that. Stereochemically, that would be a disaster. You know those like horrible TV setups where there's wires everywhere? That's what your DNA would be. So that is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So yeah, 12-stranded DNA, my fucking ass.